How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is episode 25 of a Let's Play series for Farming Simulator 22 on the mod map Iowa Plains View. And when we last left off, we installed this. This big old biomass heating plant takes wood chips and straw and converts it into power. Amazing, amazing upgrade. We did have the little one right over in that corner of the silo right over there. But I was having to fill it multiple times a day and it was just really, really getting to be a bit much. So this one is just chugging along, doing its thing. It takes, like I said, straw and wood chips and produces some power. So it allows us to take and utilize some of our... Uh, straw that we already have in our inventory and be able to use it for something else uh we also bought a new pickup truck that we got parked up by the house over there um unfortunately we had to buy it our old one took a massive uh well it, it went bad Let, let's just put it that way went bad couldn't fix it uh, there on the spot needed to have a way to get back home it just so happened the shop owners there was looking to get rid of their truck and we did a nice even swap so it worked out pretty well what do we got going on today well i've got to first start off by moving all this all these over to the silo right over there so i'm going to go ahead and run over and get the skid steer and we're also having to fertilize the yard across the way so we got the grass field uh just across the other side of the uh, street over there and that that needs some fertilizer and we need to do it soon before it gets too uh too late to be able to do it so let's go ahead and start off with this and we'll get this all put away and taken care of and then we'll go from there The great thing about this little biomass heating plant here too is you get some extra parking bays for uh, well for whatever you want to put there, but it works out real nice that uh, just some additional storage. Okay, lift that back. All right, first load. Got a thousand liters of sugar beets and a thousand liters of potatoes. go perfect let's keep on adding them over Alright, do I try and tempt fate and go for a triple stacker? Whoops, 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 whoops.
Here we go, let's give it a try. Are we gonna be tempting fate? Are we gonna end up in just complete and utter disaster? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I started acting like I was stuck or something and then rocking around I didn't want to tip over the boxes and then have to deal with turning them back over so I'm like no so I just stopped I just froze it's like don't move don't breathe don't even think Okay. Okay. So I've got at least, what, three or four thousand liters of sugar beets, additional four or five thousand liters of potatoes. Yeah, nice. I will take that as a win. Okay, let's go over here. We'll park this over by the bucket. And there we go. Let's go run across the street. So I think that's where I left my tractor. My big one, at least. Right, there's a semi truck. Let's go ahead and just pull this in and park. Now here's the tractor I want. All right, now head back across the street because that's where the uh, fertilizer spreader is. So now the plan is that we've got pretty much all the productions that I'm looking to get for the moment. I really need to start thinking about paying off my loans. I've got quite a bit of loan debt at the moment and every single month that passes I pay $2,000 in uh, interest. And that sucks. I don't want to do it anymore. So what I need to do at this point is to figure out a way to get out of that debt. Alright, yeah, it being over there is fine. So, the only way I'm going to do that is if I start paying off my loans and really start hunkering down on the spending. Let's see, I, I think that's going to be enough. So, my plan is... For every $100,000 that I get, 
I'm going to put that towards my loans. There we go. So yeah, so right now I've got 177,000. So I'm thinking that every time I have over $100,000, I'm just going to start paying off my loans with however much money I have over and above 100,000 in that $5,000 increments. So that way I can just go ahead and start paying things off, but I'll always have that $100,000 buffer as a just in case rainy day kind of fund. So that's kind of what I'm kicking around and it's not like I can't re-borrow that money back if for some reason something really goes you know catastrophically wrong I'll be able to re-borrow that money so let's see we're just about done. Okay, so I'm all done with fertilizing the field. Didn't take hardly any time at all. But the problem is now, as far as I'm aware, there are no contracts available on the message boards. So if that is the case, then I'm pretty much out of options. Or, hmm. Why, Mr. Cow, you just gave me a brilliant idea. All right, you know what? I think that's actually going to work out just fine. It'll offer me a little bit of extra inventory. Why not? So first things we got to do is we got to put this way, and I'll kind of fill you in on what I just thought of. So something I haven't been doing for a little while, and it's probably way overdue, honestly, is... I haven't cleaned up the cow field like I should. I haven't mowed it, and I've really just kind of left it up to them to, you know, kind of properly maintain it. But I could remove whatever's in there, and that just makes them more dependent on the food that I put in, which is not like I starve them or anything, so might as well just go ahead and collect that and use it for... Uh, things I need and what's nice is compared to the last time I've been in here several episodes ago this equipment will be far more maneuverable in this situation than what I had previously what I had previously was kind of a kind of a pain to be honest go all right first things first let's go in the front that is good to go all right I'm gonna go ahead and mow the grass in here because we've seen that a few times don't need to see it again watch out cow all right 
Let's go close the gate. There we go. Perfect. Because we've seen this many times before, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it from here and bring it back in when we're done. We'll see you in a little while. Okay, got this all cleared out. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. We've got to pick up our bale trailer. Uh, let's see if we can actually get out without running over any of the bales or the cows. sure we shut the gates hate to lose some cows cuz I was careless There we go. Only just a little bit of drama getting it in there. It's okay. We're still good. I should probably put the rear deck first. Okay. There we go. Now let's grab what bales we got. Looks like uh, looks like a fair bit over here. Okay. Now we'll just go around and pick up what bales we can. Oh dear cow. More cows.
Okay, I think... I think that's everything. Yeah. 19 bales? Not too bad, not too bad at all, actually. Pull out the gate. Nope. Close. Nope. Close the gate. So right now it says we have 43,000 liters of grass. And it's all getting turned into a digestate. And I think I'm going to continue to make... I'm sorry, it's getting turned into silage, which is also producing digestate. Oh man, I cut that too close. Okay, 149,000 liters. It's almost 100,000 liters just in that one uh, little pasture, so that's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. Okay. That's going to fold up and away. All right. Oops. Nope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off all my equipment. We're getting ready. You've, it's November. We're getting ready for some bad weather to come, you know, winter time and whatnot. So we've got to kind of prepare all the equipment for the beating they're about to take you know, during this long winter break. So it's one of those that always good to clean your equipment before you store it for long times, long periods of time. That way you can avoid any damage through oxidization or anything like that. So let's go ahead and just clean everything off that we can. And it's been a while, a long time since we've actually cleaned off some of our equipment and who man, some of it was needed big time. Uh, that one we don't need. Okay, let's go ahead and spray off the tractor. It should be relatively clean, but it's not going to hurt to give it a quick once over. All right, let's head across the street and we'll park our tractor. And then what we'll probably end up doing after we clean off some of our equipment is probably just skipping ahead to the next day just because it, it's there's no contracts available I checked in on the uh, message boards and it's just not uh, not looking promising right now so prospects are a little bit dry at the moment so let's see we already clean that off let's do this There we go. Ah, uh, the weight looks dirty.
man, some of this equipment hasn't been cleaned in a while. Holy smokes. I'm a little disappointed with myself not uh, taking better care of this equipment, but... Alright, all in all, I think that wasn't too terrible, but... You know, it kind of is what it is, and... Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? I gotta clean off the header for my one harvester. Actually, probably both my harvester headers need, uh cleaned. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I think that's finally it. I think we can check out our trailers over here just to see if there's anything going on there, but I don't think there's nothing in particular. Maybe the skid steer could use a quick bath, but... Oh yeah, let's give it a quick, quick once over. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and head in the house and probably relax the rest of the day because, again, not really a whole lot to do around the farm. So we'll cut away here and we'll see you all in a little bit. Alright, so it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning. It is still so dark out. It's, yeah, sun is rising later and later. I had to, before going to bed last night, realize that Oh no, I ran out of potatoes for my pig feed maker. So, if you check it out, look at all that. Now we're out of sugar beets and barley, which is fine now that, uh, or not sugar beets, barley. We're out of barley. Do I have any barley there at, uh, in the silo? So if I do... I do have barley. How much? And I need sorghum too. 7,000 liters. You know what? This might be enough. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be fine. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn that off. We're going to still produce... Uh, pig food just with potatoes instead of the massive mix so you can see we have 60,000 liters in storage plus we have an additional amount of, of pig food that's already spawned out at the production site itself so what I'm going to do now because hey there's no contracts it's, we're going to be scraping by and I've got to make some money um, let me think Um, you know what? Let me make a few phone calls. Uh, people should start being uh, open up at the shop. So hopefully there's somebody up there I can reach out to and see what I can do. Uh, I'll be right back with you in just one second. Okay, so I called down to the shop. They did answer. And they're going to go ahead and let me borrow their uh, forklift. And I'm going to be able to go down to the pig food manufacturing center and actually load into the trailer I have down there because I just ended up walking back because yeah why not it was a beautiful night uh, walk back uh, yeah gonna use their tele not telehandler their forklift to uh, go ahead and load up my truck but I will go ahead and head down there and pick up the forklift I will meet you down there Okay, well, it's going to be slow but steady charge over. Mm. 
Okay. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start working on getting all this loaded up because whew, this is going to take a while, I think. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so you can see here, I've got an entire trailer just loaded, loaded with pig food. 44,748 liters. Holy smokes. I'm going to go ahead and take this up to the farm. I'm going to load into my pig barn half, about 22,000 liters into the silo or not in the silo into the pig barn and that way i can you know sustain my pigs what i have so far and then i'm going to sell what remains in the trailer as well as what remains at the production site and i think that's going to bring me a pretty decent penny so i'm looking forward to seeing what it will do what it'll bring to me but we are almost there and we are just struggling. This this truck is pulling with all its might and it's doing a great job. I'll, I, I will wholly admit that it's doing a really good job for the amount of uh, load that's in it. But uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. let's start to slow down. There we go. And then over here. Twenty-two thousand. There we go. Pigs are going to be fed and happy for a little while. And now... Turn back around. Gonna check out the uh, pig feed situation here just real fast. Let's see. Alright, well, they're almost halfway full on food, so they're gonna just keep on doing their thing and get fat and happy, and it's all good in my book, so. Let's go ahead and head back to the production site. We'll 
load in the rest of the stuff and return the equipment that we need to return and we'll be good to go from there we'll see you there all right as you can see got all the pallets loaded every little bit we got another full trailer we're gonna take this bad boy back to the shop and then we're gonna come back and drop our well dump our trailer we'll see it well I'll just cut us back once we get back from the shop we'll see you in a bit okay come back from the shop and now We're going to go ahead and drive this up to the uh, cell point, I believe. Yeah, we're going to go this way. Oh, man, we got a full trailer. I'm actually really excited to see just how much we're going to get out of this trailer. This should be a pretty penny, I would think. Pulling to the yard here, where we're gonna sell all this pig food. It's way in the back here. Like I said, I'm I'm excited to see what kind of price we're gonna get out of this. So let's pull in, pull around. Forty-four thousand liters of pig food. It's gonna be a pretty penny, I think. Look at that money go up, go, 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 baby, go. Oh, that's over 100K. 112,000 plus a, almost 11,500 environmental score. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I will take that all day. And guess what? That means... We can pay off a bit of our loan. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and and there we go. Now it's down to 380,000. So whew, we're going to start seeing some debt relief and not going to get as high of uh, loan payments anymore. Every month that goes by is going to be less and less. And then we're really going to start uh, ripping into this. Let's see. That's good. Alright, so from here we're going to head back to the farm and figure out what our next steps are because like I said we're in the winter time it's December it's cold there's not a lot to be done so and it's 8 30 in the morning and still looks like it's you know pretty pretty dark out so ugh, it's gonna be one of those just kind of to sit back relax and hope we can uh, figure out some ways to make some money but we'll see you when we get there okay Pull into the yard here. And drop that right there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and park the truck and then then need to start thinking about what's happening here around the farm because There's a lot to go over at the moment, so, okay. So, first thing I need to figure out is what's going in my fields. I got this field here, and I've got the field across the street here. What I think I'm going to do here, I've been thinking it over, thinking it over, and because we got that biogas plant, or biomass heating plant right there, 
might not be a bad idea to pop, uh, put in some poplars. It might be a good way to sustain our wood chips. Speaking of which, let's go check out that uh, production real quick. See how well it's doing, if it's burned through all the all the resource it needs. Oof, it did too. It's almost out of everything. Alright, so that's the case. Oh, and it looks like we got a big old stack of potatoes and sugar beets again. And we're we're getting Yeah, it's it's chugging away. Okay, so let's see. So I need to fill up some more of the sugar beet or uh, sugar beets. Uh Wood chips. Need to fill those up. And then put those into the container over there for the biomass heating plant, as well as top off the uh, straw. Might as well just top everything off. So, probably would be a good idea first things first is just load up with straw. go now I'm thinking that not too much more uh, is gonna happen into today let alone today's episode so it's been a rather long day today had a real busy day so I think this is gonna be a little bit shorter of an episode hopefully not too terribly short but just uh, you know just enough to kind of record the episode get us through it and uh, move on to either I, we might move all the way into like March or something where it's actually starting to be able to do stuff because the winter months right now have nothing for us let's see I think it was 18,000 liters and a little bit over Okay, got the straw in there, and now I need to get the uh, wood chips in there as well. So as soon as I get those on board, I'll go ahead and load them into the biomass heating plant and be good to go. You know what, while we're over here with this trailer too, we might as well load in all this material here. Oh, I clobbered that one. There we go. And now
There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and set up our trailer here to be loaded into and let's see 18,000 liters it's going to be for 2,000 liter bucket it's going to be nine bucketfuls so go grab our skid steer Like I said, that's the only thing about this particular skid steer loader is it's really twitchy, especially when you're going at top speed. It can be, uh, it can be a little much, but you can't really beat the price for it, though. Oh. Ah! No! 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 Stop! Desist! That's one. All right, one more bucket. Kind of going for that power scoop. Pow. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, 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 no. Don't do that. It's almost too powerful a scoop. Perfect. Okay. Take the trailer over, load it up. And there we go. We got all the wood chips put into the biomass heating plant. That's churning away. It's making some power for us. We got the straw. We got uh, all the pig food sold off. We got a good chunk of our loan paid off. At least uh, it was 600000 Now it's down to 380 I think it was. Was it not? Uh, yes, three hundred and eighty thousand dollars so we got more than a third of it paid off so yeah that's uh that's a pretty good place to leave it i think i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please show me by liking sharing blah, 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 blah. let's try that again i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please show me by liking sharing subscribing following commenting doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content and that being said I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.